All right, good evening. How you doing? Happy Monday. I don't want to take up too much of your time tonight. I got a few quick things I want to go over. So let's get into it here. Markets Insider is reporting this. It's reported elsewhere as well. Goldman is citing Joe Manchin's rejection of the $2 trillion spending plan as bad for the economy. They're revising their GDP forecast down for next year based on the Build Back Better plan, which will likely not pass at this point because Republic, I'm sorry, Democrat Senator from West Virginia, Joe Manchin, is basically refusing to support it. So they have revised their GDP forecasts down next year for the first three quarters, a combined one and three quarter percent. Not a lot, but still, um, they're citing this failure to pass this spending plan. They're also stating the Omicron variant is also likely to shift political attention back to virus-related issues and away from long-term reforms. Now, I don't know if I would consider the Build Back Better to be long-term reforms. That That's probably debatable. However, uh, I do think that attention should be on virus-related issues so we can get over this damn thing and stop having to come back to it. I don't know about where you are, but... In my neck of the woods, a lot of stuff was canceled this past weekend. Football games, orchestra concerts, events, all kinds of things. So, And that hasn't happened in a while. Speaking of cancellations, the World Economic Forum in Davos is canceled, or at least postponed. They've called it off. It was supposed to be in January from the 17th to the 21st. I don't know if it's been rescheduled, but it is dead for this year. So that's interesting. Um, and this is all uh, amid the backdrop of JP Morgan Friday warning or predicting or forecasting short squeezes through the end of the year uh, and into next year. And I did a video last night, just uh, kind of off the cuff, me kind of uh, spitballing a little bit, talking about it, uh, giving my opinion. And, uh, you know, you, you don't really need to bother watching it. Um, I'll just tell you that I was less than impressed. Uh, I'm not really interested in an investment bank analyst's take on the Omicron variant. Uh, you know, I, I, that really doesn't interest me. I have no interest in uh, propaganda from analysts. The reality is we don't know how this is going to play out. It's kind of in our hands as far as how we as a society deal with this. And I feel like when unqualified people make predictions like that. Oh, don't worry about it. It's not as deadly. Well, you don't know that, first of all, and deaths are rising. So that's not good. Cases are high. Things are getting closed. For Christ's sake, the World Economic Forum meeting has been postponed. So not really impressed with that one. Speaking of JP Morgan, they have raised their price target on Apple to 210. 210. Currently price target at 180 raising it to 210. Now, Apple today declined about eight-tenths of a percent, although it looks like it went up, which it did. See, this is a little Wall Street trick here. Gap it down in the pre-market and then let it rise in the regular market. You know, play, play your little games, whatever. But that initial gap down was about $3. Well, this is trading view, so after hours, not reliable. So um, anyway, eh, down about eight tenths of a percent in the regular hours, but of course it looks like it went up. Nice. Let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, the main headline, main event. Ortex has issued a short squeeze trading signal on AMC. Ortex issuing a short squeeze warning on AMC based on the recent price increase and high shorting level in AMC. Now just to be clear, they're talking about Friday's price increase. Friday's increase, 23% or so, uh, five, about five bucks. So based on that and the high shorting level, what is that high shorting level, you might ask? Well, according to Ortex this morning, we're looking at a estimated short interest of about 20%. Not sure how that ended up. This is the most recent one I could find, and um, I might be able to find another one here in a second. But utilization, 81%. Shares on loan, $111 million. Now, 111 million shares on loan. That represents 81% of the loanable float. So that gives us a 
total loanable float of about 136 million, give or take, 136, 137 million. So just FYI, I saw some comments on Twitter talking about utilizations at 80%, but retail owns 90% of the float, Adam Aaron said. How can that be? Well, so utilization is telling you what percentage of the loanable float is currently on loan. So not of the total float, not of the total float. That's percent free float on loan. That's your 21.6%, okay? So you could figure out the total loanable float from that as well. But I just did it from uh, shares on loan and utilization. So anyway, uh, short squeeze signal currently in effect. That, in, that went into effect this morning at 841. So obviously didn't happen today. Um, I'm really disappointed in that. I really trust Ortex's short squeeze signals are always so accurate. <laughs> there was one over the summer that was really, really, really bad. I think it was Marin, M-R-I-N, I think. Uh, I was thinking about playing it. Let me know, anybody, if you remember that one and if it was Marin. They put out a short squeeze signal. I almost, and the damn thing, I mean, it, it flushed down hard, 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 hard. Like the day after or the morning of, I don't know, we'll see. Based on my recollection of these short squeeze signals by Ortex, they're pretty much bullshit. I have I've personally have never seen one that actually predicted it. Maybe they put these out to let the hedge funds know and the institutions know, hey, our algorithm is, you know, kind of predicting this, so you might want to tone things down a little bit. It could be, I don't know. Ortex is a Wall Street insider thing. It actually started as a service for institutional investors and the public version of it i believe was launched last year 2019 or 2020 i think it was last year though i looked into the history of vortex because uh you know they suck and um you know peter i think hilder hillerberg or something you know institutional guy but anyway i don't want to get you know kicked off here for libel so anyway um i don't know why the information on securities lending is not readily available. I don't know why you would have to pay for that. Um, I don't know why Ortex would have to pay for it. And I don't know, like they're already making money loaning the shares. Why do they need to charge for the data? It's just another one of those disparities of data that we have. Also, I don't know why it needs to be so expensive, especially based on the lack of features. Like, for example, not being able to change the color of all those lines which, by the way, none of those lines move on an intraday basis. Some of the numbers are around the top and sides. Some of those numbers change throughout the day, but the actual lines, all those lines, uh, when I had my free trial, unless they disabled it or something because I was on a free trial, I, but I never saw any of those lines actually change throughout the day. I had to wait until I think it was like 7 or 8 in the morning the next day, and then things changed there. Pretty disappointing. Also, you should be able to change the color of those lines. Some of them are so close together in color. I want to be able to get contrast between those. You can't do it. Bad. Really bad. Terrible interface. Cluttered. Yeah, this is not an Ortex hate video, but, you know, I do hate Ortex. Anyway, um, so that's the Ortex deal. Let's just scan through these videos here real quick. See if anything catches our eye. AMC stock. Buy button removed. Buy button removed. Hmm. Wonder what that's about. Citadel losing everything? Short squeeze signal. Of course Thomas James is going to hype that. I mean, come on. The five things you need to know about the current market. A matter of importance. Um, no. Absolutely not. Let's talk floor price. So let's, let's go off in our fantasy. AMC stock, no BS. $40 coming or no? Well, it says on your thumbnail, $40 incoming, shorts are losing. So I'm going to guess that you think that it is. And man, that would be a huge win. Everybody would be making so much profit if $40 came. Awesome. Theaters full with Omicron fears. Theaters full with Omicron fears. Yes, the theaters are full with Omicron. That's why I will not be going to the theater anytime soon. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, nice, Jeff. Nice. I don't like this. This is creepy. I don't like it. Why? Why do you need to do that? And what's the deal with the red thing? He's trying to be the next Keith Gill. No question about it. Astro, AMC squeeze and cycle update. Volume direction. 
volume direction candles. Uh, massive hit piece exposed, MOAS incoming. Somebody sold all of their other stock positions to purchase more AMC shares. That's good. Awesome. Short squeeze warning has been announced. See, Benji knows. Benji knows. Altcoin opportunities. Crypto cores with Matt. Um, yeah, let's buy some Doge. That sounds like a good idea. Why the shorts should be scared. Okay, because, yeah, because there were 7 million apes in the theaters with Omicron. <laughs> That's why. It's over, Kenny. It's over, Kenny. Adam Aaron just exposed this. What, what the uh, 260 million, is that what he sold? He sold $260 million worth of shares? Uh, or 90% of the float? I don't know. Margin calls are coming, Tyler. That is not creative. That's the opposite of creative. Margin calls coming? Are you serious? Lame. Okay, anyway, I'm at... <laughs> Shh. Shh. The ENSCC just did something big to AMC stock. Hey, keep your voice down. We don't want people to know. Corrupt broker, stay away. MSM lies about DTCC. Uh, yeah, Short the VIX did a video about that. I seriously could not. I couldn't. I couldn't. And I also can't with this top one. Buy button removed. $300 trillion problem. And ugh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, they just paid margin. Just paid margin, guys. It's going to be bad. It's going to be nasty. That, that option chain is going to be nasty. They just paid margin. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, just to recap, we have a short squeeze signal from Ortex. Now, they want you to know, the trading signals are based on historical performance. Because what else would they be based on, Ortex? You really have to say that? Well, yeah, you do, because your audience. And they're not investment advice. You hear that? They're not investment advice. So don't invest with this signal. It is not meant to tell you that you should invest or sell or anything. It, it's not advice. Okay? I don't know how much clearer they could be. It's not advice. Don't sue them. If it doesn't squeeze, okay, that's what that means. Don't sue them. However, a short squeeze signal was generated, not financial advice, just for entertainment purposes only, okay? Uh, estimated short interest, 20.25. That's about what it was Friday. I don't know how it changed today, if it changed today, uh, you know. But based on the price action today, uh, I don't know. What do you think? Probably not, right? JP Morgan raising the price target to 210 on Apple. Shit, let's buy Apple. I'm buying Apple. I'm not buying an iPhone, but I'm buying Apple. The uh, World Economic Forum in Davos was postponed due to COVID. So contrary to JP Morgan's uh, assessment that hey, don't worry about Omicron. Nobody cares. It's not deadly. It's not as deadly. It might be more transmissible, but you're not going to die. So contrary to that message, which I always get my COVID advice from investment bank analysts. They're always right. They're always not propaganda. They're always very truthful. They're really, really stand-up guys. They got a lot of integrity. I would let them watch my cat when I went away for the weekend. I would. Contrary to their expert assessment of the situation, the World Economic Forum has been postponed in Davos. Scheduled in January, it's postponed. I don't know if we know when it's going to be rescheduled for, so, you know, sorry to let you know. You will probably have to cancel your flight. Hopefully you can get a refund or you can get a voucher for the new date once it's announced. I'll keep you posted on that, but just so you know, I'm going to be on the phone with the airlines tomorrow. Anyway, that's all I got. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Be nice, okay? Be nice. A lot of mean apes out there. You, you guys need to be a little bit more kind because... When you guys are all trillionaires, you know, if you're already mean now, I can't even imagine. So practice being nice now when you have nothing else to do. You have no reason to be nice. You have no reason to be a nice, kind, happy person. If you can do it then, you can do it when you have trillions because you've already tempered yourself. But you guys are a little bit, you know, a little bit hot. You need to cool off a little bit. Cool off. Let me know what you think about the Ortex short squeeze signal. Did you ever have one that made you money? Did you use the proceeds to pay for the Ortex 
subscription or are they all garbage and what do you think about the Goldman stuff and the JP Morgan stuff? I'm actually interested to know what people think about this because um, I, I, I know I'm opinionated about it um, anyway have a good night catch you later see ya and you need to quit